Another try, one more go round, another kick at the can. These cliches could live forever, but not so your big chance. A second chance at a first time love of romance, revival, redemption. A get out of jail card in a game for keeps. Second chance of my first prize. Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to the Sweetwater Minute. We have Tom Lang from TC Helicon joining us. Tom, thanks for coming in. We appreciate you being My here. My pleasure. And you have brought a really cool processor for us to check out. This is a Perform VK. Yes, it is. Perform VK is a product for keyboard players who want to improve their live uh, vocal performance. They want to have the production uh, that you get, you know, from making a CD on your voice in live performance. Okay. Plus, you also want to have our trademark harmonies. Mm -hmm. And the reason it's deliberately for uh, keyboard players is that um, it has a MIDI input and what you do is you play your piano or your uh, synthesizer or whatever, connect the MIDI input to this and the harmonies will be um, interpreted from the keyboard playing and sound correct mm -hmm. over your singing. That's amazing. So it's interpreting, you know, you know. So you just play normally. We call it natural play, the ability to be able to, for us to discern what the proper chords are for the harmony. Right. And all it does is just, wherever you play on the keyboard, the harmonies stay in relation to your voice. Like if you said, I want something that's a third up. Mm -hmm. You just play the keyboard. And whether you play up here or down there, the third up stays right there. But it just moves to major or minor when it needs to, according to the chord. Right. So it doesn't matter what octave you're playing in on the keyboard. You don't have to actually voice the harmonies that you get out of this it will follow what you play and just interpret them there. Correct, except there is a mode that we can do that with, and I'll get to that oh, after right. we go through the rest of the features of the product. All right. Okay. So from what I'm seeing here, you've got a harmony button there, which I assume brings the harmonies yes. in and out. Yep. There's also reverb and echo effects, it looks like. Right, exactly, because most of the time, you're just going to want to have reverb and echo, mm -hmm. you know, just for, you know. Another try, one more go round. And the cool thing about it is you can actually change which style of reverb. So it's a nifty way to do it. You can actually set the style and the mix from one action. Mm -hmm. And um, the echo the same way, harmony the same way. You have choices that you can make and then you can store them to each of these three presets. I see. Yeah. So what does the uh, talk button that I see there do? <laughs> it never shuts up. It just keeps... <laughs> no, it's the talk button. <laughs> Basically what it does is if you've got reverb and echo for when you're singing, right? but you don't want to go whoosh, 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 turn off all the things that are on at the same time. You turn the talk button on, and what that does is it mutes any effects that are on except for tone. Okay. And tone is a basic equalizer that you're applying to your voice? It's, it's an equalizer and a compressor and a de and it adapts to your voice. So if okay. you've got a very shrill voice, it won't add as much high end. Mm -hmm. But if you've got a very bass voice, it'll take it'll reduce more of the mud on the bottom end. Because here, let me let me may I give you a demonstration. Please do. Okay, so da da ba ba ba. Here's me singing ba da ba 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 da ba ba ba. And that's with tone on. Then I turn it off, and it sounds like ba da ba 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 da. And um, so typically, you know, a dynamic microphone. Sounds mm -hmm. like a dynamic mic microphone. Sounds pretty bland putting it in a PA, but when you compress it and you add some t beautiful silky top end, remove some of the mud, because everybody sings close to a dynamic. I mean, you're, you're sure. supposed to sing back here, but everybody sings right on there. Um, and with, with all those features, it sounds wonderful. So, mm -hmm. I mean, back to your original question, talk mode gets rid of all this, and you've got just the tone. Right, right. Yeah. So it's really giving you that, that sort of produced vocal sound. Oh, yeah. Is what you're, what you're getting oh, out yeah. of it. Oh, right. yeah. And the beauty of it is, it's one button. Mm -hmm. You turn it on, you turn it off, and then you turn it right back on again because you never want to turn it off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't want to go back there. Right. Okay. And then for, for performance, I see an anti-feedback button. Nine bands of very fast acting hmm. um, anti-feedback. You want to hear it? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I don't want to not. do that to you, man. <laughs> I've but, heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, ah. So yeah, it's got very fast acting uh, anti-feedback, which gives you that sort of confidence that you can, you know, crank it a little bit. And you know when those little rings that are like, they're not there the whole time. They don't develop into this huge thing, but they're annoying. Those go away. Right. And if you do have some catastrophic feedbacks, it'll it'll solve you. Mm -hmm. It'll help you, you know, fix you there. Nice. So uh, yeah, that's a good one. Right. And what does the pitch button do? The pitch button is autochromatic.
pitch correction. Okay. Meaning that if you're, as long as you're singing along to a, an instrument that's tuned to A440, mm -hmm. it will always be just nudging you gently, sharp or flat, right? Mm -hmm. right? So that you sound just that much. But yeah, that's what it's for. Just to give you that final little bit of transparent pitch polish, you know, okay. on your performance. Right, right. Yeah. So what other features are we talking about on this unit? Oh, okay, so many. The set button here. Uh, this allows you to do a one button set for MIDI channel. Just press and hold it, hit that. Okay. It also is really interesting because you notice there's no actual gain knob for the microphone. Usually mm -hmm. when you've got a microphone, you've always got to set the gain right. It's a bit of a, you know, a bit of a this, a little bit too much, a little bit too, too little. With this, you just press and hold, sing as loudly as you normally do, and the gain is set automatically for you. Nice. So that's kind of cool. Um, it also has a room sense mic here. And that allows you to, uh, when you first power up and you've got a set of headphones on, you don't have to rig up all this microphone and stand and all that stuff. You can just use that and all the effects work so that if you just want to practice without setting up all the rigmarole, does that, obviously headphone output. And another thing for keyboard players, because most keyboards are stereo these days, yep. and you know, if you hook up something like this, all of a sudden you need a mixer, Right, because you got the stereo of those, you got the stereo output of this. Right. You don't need that with this because it has a stereo input right here uh, so that you can run the stereo outputs. And in fact, that's what we're doing right now. Stereo outputs coming out of the keyboard into here. And now if I had a powered PA, I'm done. I don't have to carry an extra piece of gear sure. to rig up all that stuff. Sure. In our case, we're just going straight into the cameras. Yep. Just stereo. And we're hoping the mix is rocking out there. It probably is, I'm sure. I'm we sure can it is hear. wonderful. Yes, yep. absolutely. Um, we also can, you can use a foot switch with it. Uh, I've got a switch three here so that I've got them set to, you know, harmony, reverb, etc. Mm -hmm. You could set them to presets if you want to go through the first, second, third presets if you like. Okay. Um, and we also have a six button foot switch so that you can set it up to one, two, three, four, five, six, um, that way. It's also, wait, there's more! There's more. It's a USB audio interface and it has, it's a multi-channel interface so that when you record uh, via USB to your DAW, You've got separate inputs of the dry vocal plus uh, just the processed harmonies, just your keyboard, you know, the, the separate feeds that you can mix later, which is really wow. very handy. Yeah, that's great. And you can use it as a, in a post-production environment. So if you just wanted to sing, sing into your DAW, just dry. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. You can add the harmonies later on. Hmm. So um, using MIDI and using uh, the digital input, the multiple uh, multi-channel digital input. So many other things. It's got an auxiliary in. Let's go through some of the harmony sounds, shall we? I would love to hear some. Yes. So at the beginning there, you heard me do uh, the, what we call one up, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mm -hmm. the single most popular harmony in the world. We could have left it there, but we just, we have to go further. So when you press and hold this, you see a representation of the harmony voices. And what's happening here is, imagine if my unison voice is straight up the middle. So Mitch, if you can see that I've got, um, there's two above me now, mm -hmm. or one above, one below, and one way below. So let's pick this one that has uh, two voices. In fact, that's one thing we didn't uh, clarify at the beginning. It's two voices of harmony. Okay. Until you go into what's called notes mode. And we'll go into that in a sec. So, um, so let's go to church. Yeah, one, two, two. So this is one above, one below. Shall we gather at the river, my friends? All of us standing by. Brothers and sisters will soon be together in the sweet by. Nice. All right, so that's just two. Um, of course, we've got other options I could show you, but you know we've 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 heard those. Now this one's an interesting one. You see all the lights lighting uh -huh. up. That's where we have what's called notes mode, which is where the other where the other playing is interpretive. This is more absolute, where what you play is what you get. Ah, okay. Yeah. So um, yeah. So if I turn off turn off the piano for a sec. And you've got eight voices you can do there, so... Uh, 
And it kind of works like a synth as well because the mod wheel adds vibrato to your background voices. Right, that's amazing. Is, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's very and cool. And of course, pitch works. <laughs> that's great. It's fantastic. And we, for, furthermore, there's one more, more mode here that's uh, got all the multiple colors, but we won't use it now. It's for when you have multiple, up to eight channels, MIDI channels in your DAW. Mm -hmm. And you can play each of the harmony voices independently with its own pitch band and mod. Oh, ah, okay. So it's really cool for, you know, building the exact harmony the way you want it. So it's kind of a multi timbral mode for the... Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess you'd look at it that way. If you're a keyboard way. player, yeah, yeah. synth guy. That's right, exactly. Right, right. Very cool. So that is uh, Perform VK. I can't think of anything else we can cover. Oh, and one more thing. There's always one more thing. Sure. Um, you can use the TC Helicon MP75 or MP76 microphones with mic control mm -hmm. to control it so if you are for example you're you know you're doing a duo act and somebody's singing and running around the stage um, they can actually you can control the harmonies with your playing right but they can turn them on and off when they want them or they could set this to turn on reverb or echo or something like that nice so it's kind of cool yeah that's yeah. great that's great. So Tom, this looks like an ideal processor. If you're a solo piano player, if you're using it within a band, if you're in a duo like you were talking about, yep. in the studio, I mean, you guys really have thought of everything as far as vocal processing and integrating it with the keyboard. Yep, in a tiny package. And a lot of fun. Appreciate you being here. Thanks for coming out. It's been my pleasure. A long thanks, trip from, uh, from Canada. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a real treat being here at Sweetwater. It's an incredible place. Well, thank you. And come back soon. I will do. And thank you for joining me for the Sweetwater Minute. I'm Mitch Gallagher. You're seeing red. Tongue is locked and loaded. Lines drawn in war. We are entrenched and dressed on a battle shore. Giving in a little ain't giving up. It's enough to admit that when the going gets tough, you can bend what you won't break for love's sake. Giving it a little ain't giving up It's enough to admit though when the going gets tough You can bend but you won't break For love's sake Giving in a little Ain't giving up Giving in a little